Hi guys, and welcome to my all-in-one drop rate guide. The video where I will try to cover every source in the game that improves drop rate in some way, so that you will be able to get those lucky drops much easier. Ooh, shiny! Before I get started, I will just mention right away that the luck main stat do in fact boost drop rate very slightly, but since it has such a minimal effect, I will not cover sources that give mainly luck in this video, so keep that in mind. I will also refer to the stat as drop rate in this video, but it's also known as drop chance and drop rarity at some places in the game and on the wiki. Just know that all is referring to the same thing. But now, let's get started. The golden sixes stamp is unlocked from the trash island in world 2. It will cost you 80 trash to get, and then a lot of krakens and cash to upgrade. This is the current percentage increase in drop rate I get at my current stamp level. The Crystal Custard pet has a 2.5% base chance to drop when rolling for a pet and gives a whopping plus 100% drop rate to all your characters when unlocked. The star sign Pirate Booty, located here, gives plus 5% drop rate when active, or with enough infinity star sign points, it will be permanent. A well-known source for major drop rates are ovals. The setup most commonly used is this one. The bronze pop ovals can be farmed from gigafrogs on the final map in world 1 and then be combined into silver ones using oval fragments. You will also want to reroll every oval for more drop rate. By rerolling the base oval before combining them, you will save a lot of fragments in the long run. Silver dice ovals are rare drops from most monsters and skilling activities in World 2. I farmed mine mainly by killing crab cakes and moon moon, since they also have other rare drops used in crafting. But this can be improved even further by getting lucky and acquiring the Ice Guard Obol as a rare drop from the Ice Guard random event, or by purchasing Hyper Obols in the gem shop and getting the Hyper Dice Obols. But getting a full board of these will cost you a fortune. In the arcade, you can spend golden balls and get up to 15% drop rate. Note that the upgrades in the arcade shop rotate with every major update, so the drop rate upgrade might not be available to you when watching this, though the upgrades are permanent and will still give you their effect when off rotation. The non-predatory loot box in the post office gives drop rate together with luck and crystal spawn chance on top. When maxed out at 400 boxes, it will boost your drop rate by 33.33%. Over at the cauldron in world 2, I will mention the first two yellow bubbles. The first one giving luck, and the second one giving a positive percentage boost to your drop rate. The first bubble is linear, and the second one follows a curve that flattens out at 40%, which is the absolute hard cap. But somewhere between 38 and 39% is a more reasonable limit. This can be achieved when the bubble is somewhere between level 1300 and 3000. There is also a sigil that can be unlocked and upgraded that gives drop rate, and that is the Trove Sigil. Note that sigils aren't available until you unlock the laboratory in World 4. In the World 2 Merit Shop, you can spend Merit Points and get up to a 5% drop rate boost. Midas Minded is a prayer unlocked by beating wave 71 of the Waka Waka War tower defense minigame. It gives you a plus percentage drop rate boost, but also raises the HP of all monsters by a percentage. At its max level of 50, it gives you a hefty plus 118% drop rate, but also increases the HP of all monsters by almost 1500%. We have one shrine in the game that gives drop rate, and that is the Clover Shrine, and the effective drop rate boost increases with each level of the shrine. Over in the Equinox, you will be able to unlock the Foe Jewels that gives plus 5% drop rate per level. By completing Dream Task 22 and 27, you will increase the max level of this bonus to level 21, where the drop rate will be capped at plus 105%. There are currently three shiny pets in the game that you can unlock and level up that gives drop rate. The Slime, the Silo Bone and the Choxie. They all give plus 1% drop rate per level. There is a lab chip called Grounded Processor 
that gives plus 60% drop rate as long as you have less than 5x drop rate in your stat tab. Past that point, it does nothing sadly, but it's a really good boost early on when you don't have much drop rate to begin with. Some other ships that are worth mentioning are the orange ones that doubles the effect of your current star sign, trophy and keychain. Also the two black ships that doubles the effect of your first, respectively last card equipped. Speaking of cards, there are multiple cards in the game that give drop rate. And here they are, in order from least to most drop rate. The Mimic card, obtainable in World 2. The Giftmas Blobulite card, only obtainable during the Christmas event. The Mr. Blueberry card, only obtainable during the summer event. The Boop Box card, obtainable in World 3. The Crystal Carrot card, obtainable in World 1. The King Doot card, obtainable in World 2. The Mr. Brightside card, obtainable in World 5. There are also two card sets giving drop rate. These are the Bosses and Nightmare card set and the Events card set. Some classes also have different talents that will improve drop rate in unique ways. The Archer based classes will have the Robin Hood talent, which gives a simple boost to drop rate. The Divine Knight Elite class has an ability called Orb of Remembrance that, while active, gives plus 1% drop rate for each mob killed. This buff stacks infinitely until the orb runs out. The Elemental Sorcerer has a similar way of obtaining temporary drop rate with the Dimensional Wormhole ability. When used, a wormhole will appear and start to spew out an endless amount of enemies based on the map you're currently on. They spawn with more and more HP for each enemy killed through the wormhole, but you also gain a percentage boost to your drop rate based on the level of the ability. This ability also stacks infinitely, but the monsters get tough fast, so it's hard to reach stupidly high drop rates with it. The Siege Breaker also has a passive ability that boosts drop rates based on how many plunderous mobs you have killed in total. Plunderous mobs are rare variants of normal monsters that only spawn while the pirate flag ability is active. The drop rate boost is based on the power of 10 of your total plunderous mob kills. The journeyman has two different talents that give drop rate. The first one is called rares everywhere and is a simple flat drop rate boost. The other talent is called curse of Mr. Looty Booty and gives much more drop rate compared to the first ability but also cuts your damage output by a percentage based on the level of the talent. Remember that you always can reset your talents, so it can be worth getting that drop rate boost temporarily while farming drops, and then not put points into the talent when damage is needed instead. Boss Battle Spillover is a special talent you can unlock using 25 trophies in the weekly battles shop, and has a max level of 100. When maxed, it gives you plus 12.5% drop rate for each boss tier you've managed to defeat for the same week. This means by defeating all 5 tiers, you'll gain a plus 62.5% drop rate increase. Purchasing a book for 25 trophies will give you a random max level between 1 and 100, so getting the level 100 book is always a 1 in 100 chance. Next up we have the Gold Charm Guild bonus, that will improve your drop rate by a certain percentage based on the level of the bonus. It caps at level 50, where it gives you plus 20% drop rate. For trophies, we have the pretty useless Ultra Unboxer trophy, a very rare drop from opening guild boxes. It gives a measly plus 3% drop rate. Next we have the Lucky Lad trophy, another rare drop that you can get while gathering resources or by killing monsters and bosses. It gives plus 7% drop rate when equipped. And if you manage to get your hands on 75 lucky lads and have unlocked the recipe from the equinox, you will be able to craft the luckier lad, the superior version of the lucky lad. It gives a whopping plus 50% drop rate and 50 luck on top of that. This is currently the best trophy you can have for drop rate. The best overall trophy in the game, as of now, must be the one of the divine trophy with its plus 42% drop rate plus 10 weapon power and plus 30 to all base stats, including luck. You will have to master world 5 to get it though, which isn't the easiest of tasks. Over to other equipment, we have the Efont helmet, that gives plus 5% drop rate. Then there are two pieces of the divine set that gives drop rate as well, the helmet with plus 10% and the boots with plus 15%. 
You have a chance to obtain the relic keychain by doing dungeon runs or getting them from the dungeon shop with a little luck. The best possible keychain would have a plus 8 plus 8 drop rate attribute, but those are pretty rare. The Siege Captain cap is a premium helmet that sometimes will appear in the limited specials tab in the gem shop and it gives plus 10% drop rate. The Molten Cloak can also be obtained from the gem shop when in rotation, either from the random wing pack which will cost gems, or if the cloak is a part of a gem pack that you will have to buy for real money instead. Anyhow, it will give you plus 30% drop rate. Since I said I would try to cover every source in the game, I will also mention the strong Steam pendant that was obtainable for a short period of time when the game was released on Steam. But you are not missing out if you didn't get it back then, because it only gives plus 3% drop rate. But to those who have it, good for you. The final drop rate source that also happens to be pay to win is the Island Explorer pack. It gives a lot of stuff. But the only interesting part for this video is the plus 20% account wide drop rate bonus that comes with it. And that was hopefully every single source for drop rate that is in the game currently. But I'm not surprised if I miss something, so if you know of a drop rate source that I forgot to mention in the video, make sure to leave a comment so I can pin it. And if you like this type of videos, remember to show that by giving a thumbs up and tell me what other all-in-one videos you would like to see in the future and maybe I will cover it. But with that said, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in another video.